I started the month of June eating three meals a day. I have gone my as long as I can remember in my life just eating two meals a day. A lot of snacking in between, so don't be so impressed because I did get up to 304.2 pounds by only eating two meals. So it didn't work <laughs> because I was always hungry and I was always snacking, always making poor choices. Uh, this month I've decided I'm going to start eating three meals. So last week I had three meals every day and I have to tell you, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I don't know. I was missing... I was missing out on a really thing that the rest of the world already knew about so I'm back to doing that but I'm trying to figure ways to um, make them healthier and I wanted to increase my proteins because uh, with proteins you can eat less at each meal because the protein is going to fill you up a lot more and it's going to make it last so you don't you're not as hungry so I was looking on uh, looking online once again, and I found these 15 ways. Actually, there was 25, but only 15 of them appealed to me. <laughs> so I um, I'm only going to list the 25 or the 15 rather that I that that not all of them are going to work for me, but some of them will work for you. Some of them are just so far out there. I've never I've you know like using some kind of yeast I never heard of and some kind of seeds and I don't. Know. So these are just the 15. If I I I'll see if I still have the article. If I do, I'll put it in the information box below because I make notes in a, I have a, I have a journal that I, I keep notes in that I keep track of my different um, things that I want to talk about. And I had wrote this down and I think I still have it. If I do have it, I'll put the link in my description box below so you can go over to the link and check it out. But the very first thing you want to do is to swap regular yogurt for Greek yogurt. Right off the bat, I'll tell you, I don't, I don't like yogurt. I really don't. I've tried plain yogurt. I've tried Greek yogurt. I've tried flavored yogurt. I've tried doctoring my own yogurt up. I've tried doctoring the Greek yogurt. It, I just, I don't know if it's the taste or the texture or something. I just can't get into it. But I see on all your videos that everybody, everybody eats yogurt. So uh, I thought I'd list that one just so you would know. Uh, number two is choose eggs over cereal. Uh, a small, which I've shown you on my vlog last week, I had a bowl of Wheaties. For me, a bowl of Wheaties is two servings. It's not one serving. One serving is three quarters of a cup. That just isn't going to get it for me. So I use two servings, which is nine points, which is ridiculously high. But I did have it. I figured it into my points for the day. I apologize for my clocks. Actually, the one clock, actually, we have to rewind. So you would have heard another one on, t on top of them. <laughs> But, um, and I don't really notice them, but I, I, for some reason, I noticed them then. But if you really sit in the quiet, you can hear the ticking of my wall clocks, which my kids go, how can you, how can you listen to all that ticking? I'm sorry, I got off track. But anyway, um, if you can take a, like an egg and you can scramble it and you can add so many vegetables. You can add spinach or peppers or onions or mushrooms and you can really bulk that up and it would be a zero point breakfast. So that is, and it's, eggs are just loaded with proteins. They really are. And so that would be a, a better choice over the cereal. Uh, number three is add pecans to your salad. I like to make a really healthy looking salad. I don't like to brag, but I like my homemade salads better than salads out. The only salad that I would think is really not my washing machine. The only salad that I would think is really close to mine is the Texas Roadhouse. I love their salad. And the one thing that really surprises me is they put an egg on their salad. I never put an egg on my salad. But, you know, I kind of like it on the salad that they have. So I might think of putting that, incorporating an egg on my salads along with the pecans. Or pecans. I guess it depends on what part of the country, how you say it. We say pecans. But I think it's pecans. Oh, well. You know what I mean. Uh, number four, choose low-fat cheese instead of going for junk food. It's so much easier just to grab some chips or some cookies from the cookie jar, you know, or something like that. But if you have, um, there's so many low-fat. I have a low-fat skim um, mozzarella stick that I really like. We used to have at our, our Kroger's, we used to have the, Kroger, uh, the uh, Weight Watcher cheese sticks, which are only one points, but they don't carry them anymore. And I don't know if they've... I don't know that Weight Watchers doesn't make them anymore, or the you know, Kroger's just doesn't carry them. But the Kroger brand I do get only as one point, and and it's very tasty, and I do like that. Number five is add lentils to soup. I um I've never had a lentil, but they look pretty good on the, on the picture that they showed. I like to add black beans to my soup, 
Uh, I need to make some more soups. I'm just finishing up the vegetable soup that I had just made um, about a month ago. It was, not to brag, but it was pretty good. I, I just used um, low, you know, like a low sodium chicken stock and then I just loaded it up with um, diced tomatoes and, you know, fresh vegetables and it just, it, it, it came out really nice and it froze really well. Uh, you can check in my um, recipe section. What you do is you go to my playlists and then look for the recipes and then go in the recipes and look for my vegetable soup because um, it, it really did turn. It's not my own recipe. I got it online, but it, it's a really good recipe and I really did like it. Uh, number six is add, add quinoa, quinoa. I never say that word. Quinoa and black beans to a veggie burger. I've never had a veggie burger. I, I really like a really good burger. And I try to use... Um, when I do get it, I use the sirloin burger, which is less fat. But you know, when I go out to eat, I get a burger. And um, next time I go, I think I will look and see if they have a veggie burger, and I will try it. Number seven is add hummus to a sandwich. I tried a hummus that I did kind of like. I'm not a really big fan of hummus, which I'm really surprised because I love chickpeas. So maybe I should just make my own. Maybe it's just the store thing. Maybe if I just smashed down some chickpeas and just made my own hummus, that might work. I don't know. Uh, what I my new craves that I've been doing lately is um, I buy the holy guacamole uh, in the little individual containers. I think they're three points for um, one little container, and I put that on a extreme wellness wrap. I spread that on there, and then I load it up with spinach and uh, romaine lettuce, and then I put some turkey on it and some honey mustard, and it's really I, I do that instead of. I, I like mustard sometimes on a sandwich, which is a zero point, but, I, you know, you're trying to get a little bit more protein on there. So I'm going to try the hummus the next time I make a sandwich. Uh, number eight is uh, to top your stir-fried veggies with chopped almonds. The only place I've ever had chopped almonds is in my almond chicken from uh, Chinese, Chinese almond chicken. But I, I like the little slivered almonds in... Uh, I, I snack on regular almonds all the time. I snack on unsalted almonds, which are very good. But maybe next time I go to the store, I think I'll buy some slippered ones and I'll add that. Even if I add it to my salad, that would be a pretty good idea. Number nine is swap ricotta cheese for cottage cheese. I've seen so many recipes for lasagna where they use cottage cheese instead of uh, ricotta cheese. And that, that does seem like a really good suggestion. Over Carrie, over at Weight Watchers with Carrie, has been putting cottage cheese on just about everything lately. She's on a cottage cheese kick. And uh, she even put it on her chili. I don't know about that, but she loves it. She absolutely loves it. She put it on her eggs, which, I don't know. Carrie, you're a nut. <laughs> you're just a nut. I just, I like cottage cheese. I do like cottage cheese, but... I don't know about on a chili or an egg, but you know, if you don't like it, don't knock it till you try it, as they say. Uh, number 10 is snack on hard-boiled eggs. I have a bowl, I, on Sundays I boil, I boil eggs for the whole week, and then I just keep them in the refrigerator, so if I wanted to grab it real quick for like a hard-boiled, just to eat a hard-boiled egg or to make an egg salad sandwich, but now I'll have them to add on a salad, because I think I might try adding them onto a salad. Number 11 is swap out your fatty meats, which is like, um, roast beef and salami and try to eat something healthier like turkey or um, tuna which I eat a lot of turkey and tuna as it is I do like a good sub which obviously has salami on it and uh, that is a very fatty meat and I should avoid it because um, it's just you don't need all that extra salt even with that number 12 is add peas to your meal uh, 12 uh, um, eight grams of peas are in each cup of pea. Eight grams of protein, rather, is in each cup of uh, peas. And um, I, I don't like to eat peas, per se, just by themselves. I love pea soup, as someone told me, is not actually made from peas. It's made from a pea something, pea pot or something. I forget what they said. But um, I do like peas, like in a soup or um, a pot pie. Or, you know, like I think I have a recipe, I could be wrong, I think I made, I'm almost positive I made a recipe with um, a Weight Watcher friendly, I'll have to check in my own recipe section, and I did put peas in it. I do like peas that way. I do like peas like in a macaroni salad or something like that, but just to eat a plain dish of peas, I'm not a big fan, but you know, I might add it to um, my soups. That's a good idea. 
I don't make smoothies, but I see a lot of you out there making smoothies. They said to add tofu to your smoothies because it gives you 10 grams of protein. And it thickens your smoothie up a little bit. I, uh, I've never had a tofu. I've never had a tofu. I've never had tofu, and I don't think I've, I don't ever remember having a smoothie either. I might like it. I have a blender. I don't know. Maybe I should try it for a breakfast drink. Number 14 is to bake a potato. Baked potato is 8 grams of protein. I know a potato is like 5 points, but if you want to have a meal, like let's say that you want to have for lunch, just have a baked potato. And instead of putting all the butter and sour cream on it, um, put some cottage cheese, <laughs> which is another 3 points if you have the regular. I use the full fat cottage cheese, but if you use uh, low fat, it's only 1 point. But you could put... Um, broccoli you know you could put vegetables on top of the potato you could really make a meal out of just the potato you really could and the number 15 thing is to stop swap regular bread for ezekiel bread when i went and visited my cousin um in toronto last month i had ezekiel bread for the very first time i absolutely loved it but i have to look for it because i don't think kroger offers it i have to um i know that probably Trader Joe's does, but we don't have a Trader Joe's by our house. There's one a little ways away, but one day I'll have to make a, a trip out there. I think that somebody had said two, which is two more stores that aren't near me, is a Sam's Club or a Costco. I think they said that you could get there, get it there. But, you know, I think I might ask at the, uh, you know, they're always asking at the counter, did you find everything you know, when you check out? And I'll just say, no, I'm looking for Ezekiel bread. I mean, maybe if enough people ask for it, it'll come come to be on the shelves. So anyway, those are my uh, 15 suggestions to get more protein into your diet. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, let me know. I'd really appreciate knowing because um, I, I'm trying to incorporate more proteins. Since I'm going to be eating three meals, I want to make sure they're healthy each day. So give this video a like, leave a comment. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and share it if you think somebody might like to uh, learn about proteins. So I'll talk to you guys on my daily vlog. Oh, my voice cracked, and I'm not even a small child. I'm not even a boy Ch going through change of life. No, boys don't go through change of life. I'm going to have to edit that out. Yeah, I'm going to edit. Nah. Well, we'll see. Did I or didn't I? At this point, you know.